moment, but somehow grabs it back. He's on the seaside, and the little turbocharged four-cylinder two-liter working overtime there. As the big 6.2 takes a little bit more time to get into its stride, through to the hairpin for the 53rd time with 12 and a half minutes to go. And battle for, oh, the BMW's gone! The BMW's gone, Top Chick is out! The car just grinding to a halt, disaster and drama at the head of GTLM. Tonio Garcia goes through into the lead, Ryan Briscoe was held up at the second, Chevrolet goes through in the second. Tommy Milner takes advantage. Oh, what cruel look for BMW and Martin Tomczyk. The car just losing drive, coming off Pine through turn eight. And he pulled very sportingly, pulled to driver's right. He's struggling down seaside at the moment and dropping places. Tommy Milner made up a couple of positions on that last time. Well, that, that was well, one of them was because the BMW True. blocked out the, the, the 67. True, but he also got past the, uh, well, yes, true, yeah. So he got past the 67. So up in the, we've got a Corvette one, two now, Garcia and Milner. Uh, Ron Briscoe there, right there in the third position. Kevin Estra also, and uh, Alexander Sims is hanging on there. So we've got a Chevy, Chevy, Ford, Porsche, BMW, Absolutely notes the tail. Here they are uh, coming uh, around on this next lap towards turn six. Let's have a look at what no happened here. No clue what happened. Here we go. Oh, oh uh, in fact, it was before he even got to the corner. It looked like he had an issue. And certainly oh, did oh, sideways. big sideways movement for the Ford of Ryan Briscoe. Hit once, hit twice by the Corvette. No harm, no foul, I don't think. And then it was a drag race down seaside. And the last of the late breakers uh, was Tommy Milner. But clearly a problem for Martin Tomchik. Tomchik not it having the best. Oh, something come out, came out of the back of the right-hand side of the car yeah. as if it had thrown a belt or something like that. Maybe, because it almost looked like it was out of fuel, didn't it? That's sort of uh, mm. what it kind of looked like. Well, can you believe this, Jeremy? The damaged Corvette that was involved in that first lap incident is now leading the GT LM race. At the head of the field, there's only half a second between... DL and Taylor with Jonathan Bomarito hanging in there. Going into the first corner, Corvette, Corvette. Then Ford. Then Kevin Estre. Change Alex of Sims there as well. A change of position for third place in GTD. Coming off the hairpin, Alessandro Balzan got a run on Jerome Mull. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's made that move going down towards turn one. So a new third place. We've got two Mercedes out front. Discretion being the better part of Valor there. We've got a new fastest overall lap here for Ryan DL this time. A 14.367, a new track record. But this is exactly what we saw uh, in qualifying uh, with yes. these continental tyres here, Jeremy. Brilliant. What happened was as the fuel load came down, they were able to make the tyres were great on the long run and they were getting quicker and quicker. And that's exactly what we've been denied by the stop start nature of this race so far. Seven and a half minutes to go been in the wall and let's make sure that, that doesn't let's try and make sure that doesn't happen the lead is coming up a lot uh, to a huge gaggle of traffic next time around DL all of a sudden finds himself 1.3 seconds ahead now that's a huge lead in the context of what we've seen in the last 15 minutes or so Jordan Taylor in second is he settling for the points here and no, Martin, it's not any Martin stuff. Tomji, by the way has got going again he's He's at the tail end of the lead lap now. He's dicing with a bunch of GTD cars, but he's back up to. Wait, he's back up to. He's no, not. He's, not he's, up he's up to GTD midfield pace. He's not up to GTD. Yeah, but that pace. could be because he, he's trying to work his way through the cars. I don't That's know. Right, true. He look, it's, the car looked to be on. Prototype in there as well, and I think that's the 70 Mazda of Joel Miller. Is it? Very difficult to see the Lamborghini. Big car, last lap, white flag is out. And the yellow flags will be at uh, turn nine. The yellow, the yellow flags are now overtaking here for the leaders in GTLM. Well, both of those cars have moved amazingly after what seemed to be heavy contact. So this is not going to be the last lap for these guys, Jeremy, because the leader hasn't come through, or is he? White flag is out now, so they will have to do another lap because they're right in behind the number 10 of Jordan Taylor, cruising to another Cadillac victory.
You can take their fuel. You can take away their punch out of the final corner, but you can't hold a good team back. And the Coninga Minolta team claim another victory in the 2017 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Cadillac on the streets of Long Beach win the Bubba Burger Sports Car Grand Prix. So close for Ryan DL. He'll bring the number two Ligia and Nissan home in second place and Mazda will have their best result of the season with Jonathan Bomarino in the 55 in third. In GTLM, Antonio Garcia, Tommy Milner and Ryan Briscoe. Briscoe's close as he's been. Oh, and a huge kerfuffle again at the final corner. The 15 Lexus, the 86. And Tom Long is struggling in the 70 Mazda. I think he may have a tyre going down. There's three cars in the way of these leaders. Yeah. The 16, it's, it's an, uh, this is a nightmare. This is the battle for the lead. The two Corvettes very sensibly going side by side there. So the Ford couldn't get through. That was genius, G genius work from the guys. But who's going to get the run to the line? It's going to be the Ford car. Tommy Milner robbed by being punted out by a Porsche last year at the final corner, courtesy of the turn of Autosport BMW and two of the cars blocking the road is going to take GTLM at the final, final moments. And Briscoe will go through in second place. Antonio Garcia will be fuming, he's dropped.